Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you how to migrate an instance of WordPress uh, from one server to another server and in my particular situation I'll be migrating a WordPress instance created on the MySQL database, the Oracle MySQL database to the uh, instance, to another instance that on a server that has MariaDB uh, but the migration process is going to be exactly the same so um, this applies to whether you're migrating from MySQL to MySQL or MySQL to MariaDB. Um, so other reasons for doing this is you might want to test out you, you might want to put your production instance on a test instance uh, for whatever reason uh, for testing out new concepts, new plugins or uh, even for upgrading WordPress versions so uh, this will show you how to do that. Another reason you might want to be doing this is perhaps you want to move uh, your WordPress from a Windows 2008 server to a Windows 2012 server for example. Um, so let me go ahead and do that and uh, the first steps I am gonna do is um, back up the database. I'm gonna back up the database using MySQL dump which is the native uh, backup of MySQL. Uh, if you have other uh, database backup mechanisms uh, certainly feel free to use those. And then the secondly I am gonna back up the WordPress website files. So uh, let me go ahead and do that. Um, so I'm going to go to where the MySQL dump program is. So in my case it's under program files MySQL MySQL server 5.6 uh, in the bin directory. So let me execute that and uh, I'm going to put it in that folder here. So uh, let me go ahead run this command. So you'll see the database uh, backup is created here and if, if I go to MySQL Workbench uh, which is the management studio uh, for managing the MySQL databases from Oracle um, you'll see the instance I want to replicate is called My Football Website and the website looks like this and it is just a very stripped down version of uh, WordPress uh, with no skin or anything like that. Uh, one thing to note, I do have this website running on port 81 uh, using uh, a URL www.football.com um, and I'll show you how to switch that over uh, later on in the target database if for example uh, you want to migrate it under a different name or it's actually under a different URL. So um, okay so I backed up the database file and now I have to go ahead and get the website files. So I'm going to go into IIS, navigate to the football website that I have, right click, explore. And I put everything here under uh, WordPress root for all my uh, uh, WordPress database, uh, WordPress websites. So I'm going to zip this up and you'll notice in the root is these uh, login files and config files in the root so let me zip this up here and then after this is done zipping up I am gonna copy this to the DB backups and I'm gonna copy this to the target server so let me switch over to the target server now and I'm going to put those files in the temp directory here, paste it into the temp directory. And you'll see, what, when I'm on the target server, what I'm going to do is uh, create the SQL, the MySQL database, uh, restore the database from the dump file, and uh, now I'm going to restore the website files and then configure IIS, and then configure any of the database data to match the target server. So. Uh, here's my database dump here. So what I'm going to do is let me create. So on this target machine here, so on this target machine here, what I have is um, Heidi SQL. So Heidi SQL is a management studio from MariaDB, which is a MySQL equivalent equivalent drop-in. Uh, so this is actually the open source now of uh, for, for uh, my SQL here. So I'm going to log in as the root super admin and I'm going to create my database. So I'm going to create 
it by the same name football website is my database and I'm gonna do UTF-8 here click OK I'm gonna create a user to log in to that football website add user name it football add db admin password 123 password 123 and then I'm gonna add the permissions for that object and what I want to do is I want to add the object so I'm going to add the database that I want the user permissions on and remember I'm using my uh, MariaDB here so I'm going to click save and now the user is created for that database I'm going to click close and I'm going to restore the database files now so what I'm going to have to do is uh, use the command mysql root that that's my uh, super admin password is password 123 database is football website and I'm gonna pipe in temp fb sql and it looks like it finished executing so I'm gonna go back to my management console here and you'll see now it has tables whereas before it didn't so all of that is now set and all I have to do is recreate the website so I'm going to extract these files I'm going to unzip this file and um, paste it in the location where I have all my other WordPress files which is WordPress root so I'm gonna paste it here and now I'm just gonna make sure that my config file is correct here so my DB user here I have football admin whereas I actually when I set it up I actually typed it in as football DB admin the database name I named it the same football let me double check that here the users football DB admin yep so just want to make sure that's correct again it's going to be local host and I save that file now I have to go to now I'm just in the final steps here where I'm going to IS and I'm going to set up that website and it's actually not going to work at first and the reason why is because the URL is not going to match um, so I'm going to call it football website and I have my files in WordPress root and the football website and if I go to my host file again and again um, in your test environment you might have it set up slightly differently pointing your new site to a say a different uh, URL in my case here I am going to point it to football so I did point it so I created a so I created a uh, host entry here that points from the local IP address to football.com I don't actually own football.com but it doesn't really matter because I I um, have that in my host file so I could emulate that and notice I'm running here on port 80 whereas in my original so let me flip back to my original server here if you notice on my original server here I actually have this running on port 81 here so when I restore it it's actually not gonna work initially I, I have to do a little bit of work to make it work but I'm gonna show you it failing and how to actually fix that so I'm gonna bring up the website and it's gonna say it's not found and 
and you'll notice it did connect to the WordPress files and it forwarded me to port 81 here. So that's something WordPress did. So what I'm going to have to do is I, I'm going to have to go into the database here and uh, expand this and I'm going to highlight WP options and I'm going to say uh, edit or actually I don't want to do that um, I want to look at the data so I clicked here on the data tab and I'm going to change this here to so if I don't put anything there it's actually port 80 so that's actually fixed now and I'm gonna go in here and run it and I'll have to restart it because it is uh, so let me restart here so it's probably cached and I'm gonna bring up the browser again and you'll notice it didn't work so it's probably cached so my other option here is to not to panic but to simply go into the bindings and set this to port 81 click OK click close and now browse and now it actually forwards me to football so once again this is something that so let me go in here and switch this back here and now you'll see it shows up now after it shows up maybe I should do it properly here and um, actually go to the login so I'm gonna log in with my admin login privileges which is the same login privileges that I had in production so I'm gonna put my username was football admin now you'll notice I've logged in so I've, I've already have everything set up and it works on the target machine now uh, I simply have to go in under settings and perhaps if I change it here it was probably cached so when I hit save now notice it doesn't work because it doesn't forward it but at least it's now the right settings I just have to go back to IS here and change this back if I was a little bit more patient I probably could have let the cache refresh itself um, so now if I go back you'll see it works uh, as long as I refresh and there you go it works now under football instead of football colon 81 but in reality all I really had to do was go into the database as I did before and be a little bit more patient and uh, wait for or maybe I just start restart IS um, and clear the cache uh, so but there you go uh, if I actually refresh the data here you'll notice uh, I changed it in the GUI versus in the database uh, so but either way actually works uh, just be more patient with it or restart IES or uh, close down your browser and restart that um, but there you go that's how you migrate uh, your WordPress from one server to another or from uh, MySQL to MariaDB and uh, hope that helps and uh, thank you for watching.